We're all part of the same community, the same fabric, and so we should all be protecting each other. Right now, there are various policies that would ban asylum or people from seeking asylum. I can't think of one trans student who didn't have a hard time, who didn't get called a slur. The school board was explicitly resisting the law. Today in Alabama, black voters cannot select candidates of their choosing. The police victimized me, he targeted me. You shouldn't have freedom to abuse people like that in the United States. Victims of police violence deserve to have a fair shot at having an opportunity to protect their rights. We were all shocked. People had to get involved to save reproductive rights and abortion access in Michigan. We can't sit idly by. We need to do something. The Stop Woke Act prohibits really important conversations about race from being able to happen in the classroom. It's the beginning of what could be the end if we don't do something right now. The ACLU is the chief defender of civil rights and constitutional liberties for all people. We're dealing with some of the most powerful people in the world. We can't make systemic change in the way that we want to, doing it by ourselves. We have to work together. Youth are organizing on their own, and the ACLU is a part of that effort. We fight in the courts. We need to have an asylum system that allows you to at least tell your story to get a hearing. We fight in the legislature. You guys are clearly failing to teach the values of racial progress that this bill claims to uphold. We fight in the community. We gotta get this history to where it's never gonna be forgotten again. We need people who think that this isn't just to all show up and speak out. It can be really scary to just like show up and volunteer. If we do not show up, if we do not demand that everyone be given the opportunity to vote, we'll lose it. We stand up and we keep on fighting. That's what we do.